You hear that? It's like a balloon. The stretch velocity level is, is amazing. B flex is what I'm using and highly, highly recommend it. So stretchy. Only one thing left to do, guys. Um, should I try it on? Yeah. Let's try it on. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Hey, 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 productions. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. What's up, everybody? Alan Wade back with another video today we are using our silhouette cameo 4 plus and our heat press signature series from heat press nation all links will be down below if you guys are interested in any of these products and we are using some booty shorts from awblanks.com link down below if you want to purchase some booty shorts before the summertime gets here so you can be all stocked up and ready and guys, I want to show you a different type of vinyl today. Um, I always show you vinyls and I emphasize the vinyls that I love that are must haves. And I think this is a must have. This is black stretch vinyl. That's right, black stretch vinyl. Why stretch? Because it stretches, right? You can use this on athletic material as well as athletic cloths, athletic merch, as well as cloth merch. and. The vinyl actually stretches, which you will see later on. So um, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Give this video, um, um, what else you gotta do? You gotta like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. If you, <laughs> all the links to everything is gonna be down below, guys. All the affiliate links. Um, so let's get into this. Uh, yeah, let's jump into Silhouette Studio so you guys can see what we're doing today. Here we are in Silhouette Studio, guys, and you see exactly what it is we're doing. We're making booty shorts, right? And we're putting booty shorts on the back, right? So what I'm gonna do is, see this white right here? I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna sit this off to the side. Again, this design right here, if you guys want this design, it's available at alanawade.com. I could actually leave it. I'm just gonna leave it as is, because what I, what you guys should do if you guys wanna um, take that white out is it's it's grouped. So I just ungroup it, and then I grab the white and I just take it out. But that's really not necessary. I'm gonna group it back together, and I'm just gonna matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it like this. I group it back together, and then we're gonna get ready to cut. We're gonna go ahead and flip horizontal and make sure it's 11.82. Got my shorts right here. And I'm gonna make sure it's the right size. Let's see, 11, here's 12 right here. So 11.82 would be about right here somewhere. So that's a good size for the booty shorts to, to live. All right, so we're gonna make that happen. All right, put this away, guys. I'm excited. Who's excited? <laughs> Who's excited for some booty shorts? I'm excited for some booty shorts. All right, so in Silhouette Studio, we're just gonna go send, and we are going to uh, select what we're using, Silhouette Cameo Plus. I'm just gonna use my regular settings, right? My regular se settings for sizer. All right, regular cut settings. That's not right. My regular cut settings are blade depth three, force six, speed three. All right, those are my regular cut settings. So let me load up this vinyl and get this thing ready to cut. What up, Dub Nation? Please hit that like button so more A-Dub videos will be found in the YouTube algorithm. Please, do it now. Do it, do it right now. I'm waiting, okay? And you guys are actually about to witness me once again load up my Cameo with no cutting mat. Why might you ask? Because I don't like to use cutting mats. And when you don't like to use cutting mats, hey, don't use a cutting mat if you don't like to use it. I don't like to use them. Sorry. I'm just adjusting the blade right here. Lower it down. We are 
are all entitled to do what we want to do, guys. So, yeah. All right, we're good to go on that. Good to go. And the sheet is nice and flat, so not using a cutting mat should not be any issue whatsoever. So now that our Cameo is all loaded up, you see it says ready down here, and we are ready over here. Everything is highlighted and ready to cut. We have our Sizer Easy Read HTV selected, got the right cut setting selected, and everything is good, but guess what's not good? We're not using a cutting mat, so we gotta go back over here into design mode and select that we're not using a cutting mat. Where it says cutting mat, just put none, all right? <laughs> guys this is what you got to do if you're not using a cutting mat you have to tell the machine that you're not using a cutting mat okay all right so now now we're all ready to go it says ready we're just going to send this baby to cut and see what happens send all right guys our cameo is cutting out our design and um it's looking good guys looking good i'm going to show you guys something after it's done cutting though um, I kept on getting an error that said media size is too big for design cutting or some crap like that. Um, I want to show you guys what to do just in case you ever run into that issue, guys, um, because I ran into it. And um, yeah, and I don't want you guys to run into the same issue. All right, so after this is done cutting out, I'm going to show you guys what you can do in Silhouette Studio to correct that issue. All right, it's really, really, really simple. A-Dub Productions. All right, so our design is finished cutting, but I wanna show you guys something that's really, really important because I think it's a teachable moment and, and you guys can learn something from it. So I'm gonna show you. In Silhouette Studio, right, what do you guys notice right here? You guys notice where this arrow is, or perhaps you didn't, let's go back to design mode. See where the arrow is? So that kind of screwed me up because, um, I got a little complacent because I cut stuff all the time. I didn't pay attention to where the arrow was. So like my design should have been like this. See where the arrow is? So it should have been, it should have been like this. All right, so I got to rotate my media, um, which I would do like this, all right? That's the way I should have cut it. But because I cut it the other way, it cuts sideways on my mat, all right? And that's not a problem. That's not a problem. It still worked. But I kept on getting the error message, right? It said media size was too big for the cutting or something like that. And I want to show you guys what that message is all about. This right here wasn't ticked, and that's all that was. I kept on getting a message because that right there wasn't ticked. Isn't that crazy? So when I would go press send, it would give me this message right here. Media width too wide. The selected media is too wide to be used with this specific silhouette device. Select a compatible media size to and retry, right? Okay. So I went over here and then select this. Now when you go back over here and press that, it sends it. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Let me unplug it. <laughs> unplug my cameo because I don't want to do that. All right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But I hope that helps somebody. Um, I figured it would because, you know, I'm not obviously, I'm not the only one that's going to run into that issue. All right. So I hope that got, that helps you guys. All right. So now that it's cut out, let us start weeding it, guys. A-Dub Productions. So you guys see how we do over here. Break out the ruler. We are a waste not, want not society over here. Uh, that make any sense. So I'm gonna just cut this vinyl to the part that I'm using because this B-Flex stuff is awesome. Once again, links down in the description below. You guys are gonna love this. As soon as I start weeding it, you're gonna love it. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. You're gonna understand why I love this stuff so much. All right, so cut the part that you're using out and save the rest of it for another day. All right, that's what I do. That's how I do mine, all right. 
All right, we're good. We are good. I think I need to change the blade on this exacto. Definitely need to change the blade on this exacto. All right. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take this moment to hit the subscribe button and also hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. It helps me out a whole lot more than you know it. Thank you. My cutting mesh switched on the wrong side. All right, so watch this guys, watch this. All right, boom. All right, that's how it's supposed to weed. All right, but the weed stuff, you start from the outside in, not inside out. So let's start from the outside in, and this will give you a, an idea of why I like this stuff and why I recommend this stuff to you guys. All right. You might not see it right now, but just give me a second. Just wait a second. You'll see. Watch this. Already, watch this. Watch this. See that? What vinyl do you know that has this type of give? Yeah. You're welcome. In the comments below. Thank you, Alan. That's all I want to see in the comments below. Thank you, Alan. That's all I want to see. For those that have never used stretchy vinyl, can I get a thank you, Alan, in the comment section? Can I get a thumbs up for that? Can I get a thumbs up just for that alone, guys? Give it up. Give it up. Give it up for the stretchy vinyl. Give it up right now. You hear that? It's like a balloon. The stretch velocity level is, is amazing. Crazy, right? So yeah, you guys want to get some stretch B-Flex. Links down below. You're going to want to get it. All right. I think um, Heat Transfer Warehouse has a version of it. So I'm not only going to put uh, the vinyl stands, stretchy vinyl link, because the vinyl stand is the place that sells this stuff. But I think Heat Transfer Warehouse has a version of it. And I'm not sure, but I don't think Heat Press Nation does. But I'm going to put all the links to everybody that sells them. Heat Transfer Warehouse and B-Flex down below. Well, Heat Transfer Warehouse version of this vinyl, but B-Flex is what I'm using and highly, highly recommend it. I can only vouch for the one that I'm using. B-Flex, very, very dope. Um, and we're going to put that right on here and it's going to be stretchy and it's going to be dope so let's do it guys let's do it a dub production so here we go everybody we are about to fire up the signature series and we need this to be 285 degrees and we only going to need to press it for 10 seconds so let's adjust our thing here okay 285 degrees all right, and let this heat up, okay? And adjust the time. It says 10 seconds, I'm gonna put it for 12 and press okay. Somebody said, hey, Alan, can you press vinyl onto the booty shorts? And I said, yes, you can. So I decided to make a video for you guys because I'm more of a, I can show you better than I can tell you type of person. I think we all know that. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean and how to do it. Guys, if you guys want some booty shorts, awblanks.com. Go ahead over to awblanks.com and purchase some. Very, very inexpensive. I messed my tape all up. Very, very inexpensive. Um, and anybody who purchased any on there can uh, vouch that they're very, very inexpensive. All right. So awblanks.com. And if you guys want this design, this little booty shorts design, alanaway.com, alanaway.com, and under the silhouette files, you guys can find that design right there. If you don't feel like making it for yourself, then I made it for you. All right. 
So got that situated right there. Got a few creases on there. This is going to be interesting press, but I think it's going to be fine. A Dub Productions. Our heat press is all heated up. Let's slide it out. Align this stuff up, guys. All right, and I did put some a little pillow in here to help the design stay up a little bit. Let me give it one little wrinkle out press. All right, and I do believe because of how thick this is, I have to lighten up on the pressure. So I'm gonna put it down to pressure 14. All right, pressure 14. All right, up, oh, it's a little bit too much. I'm gonna lower it down to pressure 10. All right, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Pressure 10 should be good. All right, cool, got the moisture out. Let me line this bad boy up. Do we want it high or do we want it low? Or do we want it right in between? We want it right here. That's about where I imagine it should be. All right. Make sure everything is getting a nice even. Keep on forgetting I got a slide out drawer, guys. Comes in so much handy, slide out drawers. All right. So booty shorts. That's where it's going. That's where it's going to live. All right. So let's press this on. It's only a 10 second press. Go ahead and press this down and let it do its thing. I don't know what kind of peel it is, but we're gonna just go ahead and peel it off. Gonna hit it off with a hot peel. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what we looking like. Didn't follow the directions. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't follow the directions. Let me press it again sideways. And I'm gonna wait for it to cool a little bit. The good thing about this website, I'm gonna take this out. B-Flex's website is they have the exact instructions on there, whether it's a hot peel or a cool peel and all that other stuff, but I don't know what kind of peel this is. I'm um, just going to press it one more time, guys, without the, uh, um, the barrier in there, without the pillow in there, and then you guys will see what I'm talking about. All right, press it for another full 10 seconds. All right. Once again, I don't know what kind of peel this is. Probably should have looked on the site before I did this video, but it's okay. Cool it off a little bit. All right. Cool it off just a little. And that side is not cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, there we go. Looking good, guys, looking good. All right, there we go. Nice. I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet over top of it. And I'm gonna press just one more time just to make sure everything is embedded in. Just walked over here to the uh, section where the Teflon sheets are. And let me grab a Teflon sheet right here. Press it one more time. Full press once again, just to make sure everything is embedded down in there. And then I'm gonna show you guys what we got. All right, I'm loving it guys. This auto open stuff is like the best. Heat transfer warehouse, I mean heat press nation rather. Heat press nation links below if you guys wanna get this press. Guys, guys, all right. Now it has stretch to it. So the vinyl is gonna stretch with um, the booty shorts, which is dope. So you don't have, you have to worry about the vinyl cracking, stuff like that, because the vinyl has stretch to it. That's why I like this vinyl, all right? So we got the booty shorts with the booty shorts on the butt. And don't worry about it not being articulated or anything like that. Once a woman puts it on that has booty to fill up the booty shorts, it will start stretching and articulating and look like we put some type of some type of uh, curvature to the design, all right? So it's good that it's, it's straight like this, all right? Because when it's, when it's filled in, it'll, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, y'all. I don't know what else to tell y'all about this design. 
You could put something else in the front right here. All right, that would tie it all together and give it give the front some design aspect, some design element. So that's what I would suggest for you guys to do. But what do you guys think? Booty shorts, AW blanks. All right, AW blanks if you want some booty shorts. And so does that answer your question? Um, the person that messaged me, can you press vinyl onto the booty shorts on AW blanks? Here we go. Highly recommended vinyl. This is a uh, black stretch. You can you get this in whatever color you like. It's very very thin, and it's stretchy. Good for athletic materials. Um, and this vinyl is one of those like things that you should get because nothing is worse than telling a customer no or potential customer no, right? So. I get a lot of people sometimes that say, hey, Alan, can you put this picture onto a shirt? Or can you do this? And can you do this? And people, when you tell people you make shirts, they think that you could just make anything, right? But they don't know that different equipment enables you, different equipment makes enables you to do different things. And vinyl is somewhat limited to the point where, you know, we're doing, we're dealing more with silhouettes. So, um, with that being said, this is the type of vinyl that will let you say yes to athletic material, all right? Because it stretches, all right? So stuff that people would wear in the gym and stuff like that, you could say yes to because, um, yeah, because it, it has give, all right? So that's why I highly recommend this vinyl. Only one thing left to do, guys. Um, should I try it on? Yeah. Let's try it on. A-Dub Productions. You wish. Definitely not trying these on. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these shorts in the comments down below. Once again, this simple design is available at alanaway.com if you guys want it for your cameo. Um, you guys don't feel like making it. Hey, it's available for you for $1. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've ever used this Stretch HTV specifically from B-Flex. Let me know if you guys have ever used any of this stuff. It's really, really good, really, really easy to work with, really, really thin, um, really, really lightweight, and it's very, very stretchy and durable. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash Productions. Follow me here, of course. Follow my second channel, Alan Wade, youtube.com backslash Alan Wade. And we got the giveaway coming up, guys. For those of you guys that don't know what you need to do, to be entered into the giveaway where I'm giving away a Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus this Friday coming up, then watch the last video. You didn't watch the last video. You guys have to watch the videos to see what's going on, to keep up with everything and see how you guys can not only win, but what other cool stuff is available in the garment decorating industry. And we have a surprise coming up this week. We should be getting something in the mail. Not gonna say what it is. Some of you guys might know what it is already, but comment down below if you know what it is, because some people know what it is already. All right, so yeah, it's gonna be awesome. This is one of those devices, here's a hint. This is one of those devices that's gonna help us not say no to somebody when they say, um, hey, can you put this on a shirt? And I already kind of gave it up, one of those devices. I shouldn't have said that right. But yeah. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?